Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about skincare, so please subscribe. From today, I will be reviewing and posting one sunscreen recommendation each day for September. And for my non-South Africans, from the 1st of September, it's kind of seen as like spring day in South Africa. But according to Google, spring doesn't start here until the 23rd of September. Well, if you live more like Gauteng, Mpumalanga, Limpopo, Northwest, um, we know but by that time it's going to be much warmer and a little bit more hotter. We might even experience a heat wave. So I wanted to make sure that there are sunscreen recommendations for you guys to choose from because I know when that heat wave comes around people are scrambling for sunscreen and I want to be here to help. Okay, so let's start with day one and we will be talking about the Nivea Sun UV Sensitive Sun Allergy Protection SPF 50. This sunscreen is new to the South African market and I stumbled upon it when I was looking for a sunscreen for sensitive skin and this came up. And I'm really excited for this new addition to the South African market. I would say that this sunscreen is for people with very oily skin types and maybe if you have combination skin you can also give it a try. But if you have normal to dry skin I would definitely not look this way and you'll see why as I talk about the sunscreen later on in the video. Okay now let's talk about the ingredients. The sunscreen makes use of five chemical filters Filters, and these chemical filters is what's actually protecting us from the sun. I'm going to list them here on the screen because I will not even attempt to try to pronounce them. And the other ingredient that I can pronounce that we have here is glycerin. And glycerin is a humectant that helps your skin cling onto water and hold onto it so that it leaves your skin feeling moisturized and hydrated. The sunscreen also contains glycerihiza in flatter root extract, which is another form of licorice root extract. And this ingredient is an antioxidant. Licorice root extract is a plant extract and it offers skin soothing properties. On top of that, licorice root extract can be effective in improving the look of an uneven skin tone and because um licorice root extract is a potent antioxidant it's usually why it is present in um, skincare products that are marketed towards people with sensitive skin or reddened skin and then lastly there's also tocopherol acetate which is also known as vitamin e and this is an antioxidant as well and antioxidants help defend your skin from pollution and other environmental stresses that lead to the signs of aging now the brand does stress like on the packaging that this contains antioxidants and I really think that's great. Antioxidants and sunscreen work really well together by protecting the skin further from photo damage caused by ultraviolet rays. Usually I would recommend someone get an antioxidant serum and then pair it up with their sunscreen in the morning but now this already contains antioxidants so you don't really have to go that extra step if you don't want to which I think is amazing because then it also simplifies your skincare routine. Okay now let's talk about what I love about the sunscreen. Firstly the sunscreen does not sting my eyes. I will apply the sunscreen liberally and I'll make sure to get on top of my eyelids and I have no problem with any eye irritation. So because of that I love applying the sunscreen before I work out because when I'm working out I'm you know I'm working out I'm hot, I'm sweating, everything's dripping down, and that's the least time I want to experience eye irritation, you know? Now, this sunscreen is moisturizing when you're applying it, and it works well under a basic hydrating routine, but it does get completely absorbed into the skin. Like, please, I'm not lying when I say this thing really gets absorbed into the skin. Like, your skin will look moisturized, but when you touch it, you will feel that it is matte, it is completely dried down, sunken into the skin. And yes, your skin will look moisturized. It will look like, oh, this person put on moisturizer today, but it's not greasy at all. Don't be fooled by that moisturizing feeling while you're rubbing it in. I'm telling you, this thing sinks into the skin. It feels like nothing and it's not greasy. Now, you can have a very hydrating routine underneath the sunscreen, but you need to be very careful with that. Because if your sunscreen is too hydrating, like you've used like five serums, it's going to peel. This is for people with, you know, really oily skin and very basic skincare routines. I'm talking your toner, your serum, the sunscreen, or a serum, moisturizer, sunscreen. Very basic, preferably under like four steps, including the sunscreen. So the sunscreen is fragrance free, obviously, because this is for sensitive skin people. Um, although things are scent, um, what is it, fragrance free, it doesn't mean they don't have a scent doesn't smell like anything like it smells like a cream but like it's not overbearing or overpowering and once you apply it it really does disappear once it starts to dry down the sunscreen does work under makeup but that also depends if you're someone who keeps their makeup like quite minimal and quite dewy i think this would be fine i haven't had a problem with that especially when i just add a little bit of blush there a little bit of concealer maybe a little bit of contour as well that's fine the only problem i've had with this under makeup is when i had like a matte base so what i would do is i would moisturize Put this on then i would put on a mattifying um 
Primer, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Mattifying Primer SPF 20. And then I would go in with like my matte um, foundation or powder and stuff like that, and then it will start to peel. So I don't know if maybe it's the primer or if it doesn't work well with matte, um, you know, finishes or people who like a matte base when it comes to makeup. At this point, all I can say is you'd have to see and try it for yourself. Just don't do it when you need to go meet your friend for lunch and you're running late. That's not the time to test it. Test it out, see how it goes with your regular makeup routine and then you'll see. Now, I really like the sunscreen, okay? I purchased the second bottle, which is this one, before it even ran out. And the sunscreen has easily entered my top five sunscreens, like easily, it's it's so good. The only problem that I have from it, apart from it peeling under a matte base makeup, is that the buildup at the nozzle when you're using the sunscreen, it can get really disgusting, but nothing a wet wipe can't take off. When I first purchased the sunscreen, I purchased it on Take It Off for 149 Rand because it was on special. Then it was on special again and it was for 159 Rand and I purchased it for that price as well. And at that time they were saying it's on special. So they were saying the original price was 204 or 205 and then you were going to get it like for 149 Rand or 159 Rand. I have now checked Take A Lot and this sunscreen is now going for 269. I would recommend if you want to get it cheaper, rather buy it on Discam online or find out if your Discam does hold it in store, but you're better off buying this online on Discam's online store. Okay, so now I want to say that this is an affordable sunscreen. Please don't kill me. So at the beginning, these facial sunscreens that Nivea has, there's another one. There's the Nivea anti-shine one, and then there's the um the Q10 anti-pigment one. Okay. Those were like affordable sunscreens. One for oily skin and combination type and one for what is it dry skin types normal to dry skin types then about two three months ago Nivea increased all their products not just their sunscreens all of them everybody was kind of complaining online I remember being like guys do you do you see this increase and everybody was like yeah my body cream went up my this this went up my that that went up and at that time like Nivea sunscreens to me were like the affordable sunscreen but now they've increased all their prices for everything and we all know Nivea is still like an affordable brand inside our drug store you know a grocery store whatever you want to call it um it's still a affordable skincare i mean it's still an affordable brand so i don't i don't know why they increased their prices but they did and i know a lot of people are gonna go it's 205 rand that is not an affordable sunscreen i know but if you can point me to a sunscreen that is matte anti-shine non-greasy great for oily skin types that's under 200 rand please i would love to see it you know um it's just it's very hard to come by a sunscreen made for oily skin people that's going to be um affordable and also cater to people who really don't want that shine who don't want that greasiness so just like you i don't want to say a 205 rand um sunscreen is affordable but now that the affordable sunscreen has gone up like there, there's nothing else i can do there really isn't i can't there are sunscreens that are um much cheaper than this one but they're not going to work for everybody they're most likely are going to work for your normal to dry skin types okay we're now at the end of the video let me know if you've used the sunscreen and how did it treat your skin would you recommend it or would you not recommend it and what sunscreen would you like to see on this 30 days list so yeah thank you guys so much for watching as always don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification button bye